So the question says, Shubham took an educational loan from a nationalized bank for his four years course of B.Tech. He took the loan of rupees 5 lakhs such that he would be charged at 3% per annum at compound interest during his course and at 5% per annum compound interest after the completion of the course. I think there should be full stop here. He returned half of the amount which he had to be paid on the completion of his studies and the remaining after two years. What is the total amount which is paid by Shubham? So basically a case of compound interest, what happens is for the first four years, see he has taken an education loan for how many years? For four years. So he took the loan of rupees 5 lakhs. So this is the principal amount very clearly. The rate of interest is not fixed. It's varying. How is it varying? It is 3% per annum during his course, meaning for the first four years. For the first four years, it is going to be 3% per annum. And after that, it is going to be 5% per annum. 5% per annum after completion of the course. So 0 years to 4 years. 3% compound interest. And 4 years till whenever he returns, till the amount is returned, till the loan closure, I can say it's going to be 5% per annum compound interest. Right? Principal is 5 lakhs. Now what did he do? He returned half of the amount which he had to pay on the completion of his studies. So at the end of 4 years, he had to pay some amount. Right? He returned only half of it. Half was paid here. And the rest was paid, of course, whenever he closed it. And the remaining after two years. So meaning this return is actually uh, six years. From fourth year to sixth year. For zero to fourth year, three percent. From fourth year to sixth year. See, he returned the remaining after two years, right? So for the remaining two years, it was five percentage per annum. He returned the other half, not the other half, the rest of the amount. In the sixth year. You're able to follow he paid half of what he had to return uh, at this point and the remaining at, at the end of 60th. So how do you solve this now? What is the total amount paid by Shubham? What did he pay at the end of total 6 years is the question. See, try to understand what will be the total amount at the end of 4 years. You know what is the formula for amount, right? P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of T. So the total amount at the end of 4 years is going to be what? P, 5 lakhs into 1 plus r by 100. The rate of interest for those 4 years was 3 percentage. 3 by 100 whole to the power of 4. Right? This is going to be the amount at the end of 4 years. What did he do? He returned only half of it. Only half of this was written. Right? This was the total amount to be paid at the end of 4 years. P into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of t. He returned only half of it. Amount returned after four years is how much half of the amount which was supposed to be paid out of for four years so that's what it says he returned half of the amount which he had to be paid on the completion of his studies on the completion of studies meaning completion of four years so he paid half of this amount this was paid already so remaining amount is how much remaining amount is the other half the other half of this whatever we have already calculated now on this other half, he will have to pay 5% per annum for how many years? For 2 years. See, this is a 4 year period. This is a 2 year period. Getting it? So he paid half amount returned or amount paid at the end of 4 years is half of this value. On the other half, you have to undergo, I mean, you have to still pay a compound interest for 2 years. So how much will he pay at the end of 6th year? Amount paid at the end of 6th year. Not 6 years. I'm not saying amount paid totally for 6 years. I'm saying amount paid at the end of 6 year. How much will it be? See, you will be paying compound interest. Compound interest on what? At the rate of 5% per annum for 2 years. On what principal amount? This is the principal amount. The remaining amount is the principal amount. Which is half of 5 lakhs into 1 plus 3 by 100 whole to the power of 4. On this, you will be charged whatever 5 percentage per annum for 2 years. So it is going to be like this 5L by 2 into see 1 plus 3 by 100 is 103 by 100. I'm just trying to take 103 by 100. You're able to follow 5 lakhs by 2 into 103 by 100 whole to the power of 4. This is the principal amount P into 1 plus R by 100 into 1 plus 5 by 100 whole to the power of 2. 
So total amount that he will have to pay, I mean the amount that he will have to pay at the end of 6th year is this. Now, total paid by Shubham. What is total paid by Shubham? Total paid by Shubham is half of this. See, at the end of 4 years return half of this plus this. So, half of, so I can say total paid by him is A, 4 years by 2, amount in the end of 4 years divided by 2 plus this, he will pay this at the end of 6th years, which is A 6th. I mean, you'll have to play with those numbers to get to the answer, final answer. It involves a lot of calculation, like I said, but there's no other way out. Or you can play with percentages. Like for example, you know, 5 lakhs is the principal amount. Find out the uh, compound interest at the end of 4 years. But that also is going to take a lot of time. Even if you try to go by effective percentage formula, A plus B plus AB by 100, it's, it's going to take a, it's going to be cumbersome, right? Because you have to apply A plus B plus AB by 100 three times to get the total compound is for four years. If you understand what I mean, right? We have discussed this whole process in the simple and compound as basic videos. Just refer to that. But you know, this is what needs to be done. So at the end of four years, the total amount that he will have to pay will be five lakhs that he borrowed at the rate of 3% per annum for four years. He paid only half of it. So on the remaining amount, remaining amount, half of the remaining amount, he has to pay 5% per annum for two more years. So amount paid at the end of 6th year is this, amount paid at the end of 4 years is this, total paid is this, I mean half of this plus this. Calculation you please do, you will figure out what the answer is. The one thing for sure is answer cannot be 4 lakh 92,000 because when your principal itself is 5 lakh, Overall interest is going to be more than 5 weeks, right? If you go by simple interest case, what happens? I mean, just to see which of these options are closer, 6 lakh 12,000, 5 lakh 60,000 or 5 lakh 90,000. Of course, since fifth option is none of this, you'll have to do the complete calculation. But one technique to eliminate some options could be this. This is only eliminated. Option 1 is eliminated because it is less than 5 lakhs. If you look at option 2, 3, 4, see it is 3 percentage per annum for uh, four years. So total at the end of four years will be twelve percentage. So it will be it will become what hundred and twelve percentage. Hundred percent plus twelve percent, hundred and twelve percentage. He returned only half of it, which means he returned fifty six percentage. Plus on the remaining uh, fifty six percentage, he was charged five percent per annum for two years. So that will become ten percentage. Ten percentage on fifty six percentage. So. So that is like uh, uh, 5.6 percentage, right? 5.6 plus 56 is 61.6. .6. So another 61.6 percentage. So he paid 56 percentage at the end of four years and 61.6 percentage at the end of two more years. This is based on the simple interest case. So what will be the total value? Uh, 110, 116, 117.6. So 117.6 percentage. Yes or no? Now 117.6 percentage of 5 lakhs, which means 5 lakhs plus 17 percent of 5 lakhs. What is 17 percent of 5 lakhs? 17 percent of 5 lakhs. 10 percent is 50,000. 17 percentage will be 85,000. Right? So it should be 5 lakhs 85,000. 5 lakhs 85,000 change for the case of simple interest. If it is 5 lakhs 85,000 for the case of simple interest, you know that it will be more than 5 lakh 85,000 for the case of compound interest. So more than 5 lakh 85,000 means this option gets eliminated. So looks like it will be close to 5 lakh 91,595. Now if I am solving it in the exam, I would not waste too much of time in calculation. Maybe I'll just take a guess and mark fourth option. But remember, there are chances that you may go wrong because fifth option, none of this is there. Or other techniques can be applied, unit digit method or root digit method, but that also is going to take a good amount of time. Anyway, you know what needs to be done. So just do the calculation yourself and find the answer.